welcome back to the Lake District and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We've not been out in ages. No. Can't remember the last time we are out, but it seems ages ago. Anyhow, we're back. Last year. It was last year, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, we're back. It's March the... 23rd? 23rd or something like that. Yeah. Um, it's tip of the Lake District weather. Yeah. But today we're here, we are in our home 20. We're in Ambleside. We are. Um, and today we're doing a walk today we did last year with our daughter, but when we look back at the footage, we found out that there was no sound to it. So, <laughs> bit of a faux pas. So what we're gonna do, we've parked up at Miller Bridge Car Park, I think yeah. it is, in, in Ambleside there. Uh, we're heading out first to the Roman Fort, which is dead interesting, and across the road, and then kind of take a detour. We're gonna do Baystones first. And then from Baystones, which is the highest peak on that run there, back to Wandsfell, and then the steep drop down back into Ambleside. Yeah. It's a steep drop down that, isn't it? It is, it? Bulb yeah. steps and that, so then, yeah. obviously then, to the pub for a pint. <laughs> so, uh, if you've nothing to do, come and watch us. It's going to be a great fun. Um, I just hope it doesn't start snowing on top. As you can see there, you can see Wandsfell in the distance there. That's where we're going up. That's our looks, kind of... looks quite clear at the moment. It does look very clear. Let's just hope it's like that when we get up there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Come with us, we'll see what we'll get up to. See you in a minute. The Roman fort here is quite interesting and it's something we've stirred at ages, isn't it, for yeah. ages? Um, because up there, there's a little crag there called Todd Crag. And that's one of our usual kind of jaunts, isn't it? So we, we often sit up on Todd Crag and look down over the Roman fort and it was built round about well not quite sure 2000 years ago um, and it was built in the time of Emperor Hadrian obviously who built the the famous walls would we say and it's quite an important fort because it's it was the place where they brought all the grain in and they then supplied the, the other forts along along Hadrian's wall um, so they bring the grain from the sea up Windermere and the grain store here it's particularly big for the fort uh, that it is and that is because it was a main place to, to store the grain and then pass it on to uh, to other forts along the way so just got to head through here now this little path here and then we'll be at, uh, at the fort so we'll catch up when we get there. Okay so here we are Obviously we're in the middle bit of the uh, the fort here at the minute and round the outsides you would have had a big wall and entrance point, um, especially there where that little sign is. So this is kind of the, the, the main bit in the middle and obviously on the right hand side there, that's where the grain stores were. Um, and then obviously in the middle, the headquarters and then that side, the commanding officer's house. And to be honest with you, I think I think he had the best point, didn't he? I do. He, got, he had the best uh, best view, should we say. I haven't said that, the view out that way over yeah. Fairfield Horseshoe and Red Screech is pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see there. So we'll, uh, one I find particularly interesting is the grain store. So we'll we'll just head over there to have a look at the grain store because this, uh, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is the grain store. And as you can see, you can see these buttresses on the outside, obviously to uh, maintain the weight of the grain pushing against the sides of the of the building. But more interestingly, is you've got these channels and the grain store, believe it or not, they used to dry the grain here as well. So not only back in them days, 2000 years ago, did they have the ability to build such buildings like this. They had underfloor heating and ventilation. And you can still see the ventilation slots now as you can see there, just in the outside wall. So all this would have been flowing with air underneath and you've got these ventilation slots going down all the way that would help dry the grain. So yeah, so the grain would come down Windermere there on whatever and then be stored in here then to be taken to uh, other forts along the way. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. Let's head up to uh, Baystones. Come on.
just headed up through the woods there now and kind of got on this path towards Jenkins view, I think. But the Western Red Cedars around here are absolutely magnificent, aren't they? Yeah, They're just almost, yeah. wonderful. They are perfect, so yeah. I'm going to say keep your eye up for them, but you won't miss them. <laughs> if you're on this road, you won't miss them at all. They're just wonderful. Anyway, onwards. Okay, here we are. So we just come up this path here, and there's a little gap in the wall here. And that there is Jenkins Crag. It's easily accessible, isn't it, from Ambleside? Yeah. If you go the right way. Yeah. <laughs> we had a little detour and ended up through the forest somewhere. But we're here. We're here. Everybody. And we're smiling about it. That's the main thing, isn't it? So, yeah. So, come on, let's go up to uh, Jenkins Crag and look at this view because it is pretty spectacular. It's good view. Don't know what it's going to be like today. No. But it's, it's just started there. raining now and I'm leaking yeah. and I'm not fit. No. Me anyway, come on, let's go and enjoy this view. Okay, here we are, Jenkins Crag. These these rocks around here are like glass, aren't they? You've got to be yeah. uber careful on this. So anyway, Jenkins Crag and Jenkins View. Goddamn weather. But hey, you know, that's what it's like today. Hopefully. It might clear again. <laughs> so. oh, I'm not thinking it's going to be good up on base stones, but anyway, I think we'll crack on. Yeah, we're having a brew. We'll have a brew then. Have okay, brew. right, see you in a minute. Tell you what, what, it was a bit warmer and better weather when we were sat down there that time. I, know. I don't know if you can see it down there, just through the trees there, there's Lowood Bay yep. and the spa. And it, how long ago was it? J January. It was January. It was a beautiful day in January. It and was. We were sat in the pool right. with a, a glass of something sparkling, bubbling away, yep. watching poor critters walk up this track, weren't we? And now there'll be somebody down there us. with a glass of something bubbly watching <laughs> us. So if you're looking for a good spa in the Lake District, that's one of them. The Lowood's great. The Lowood's great, but again, on a good day, that is a great view. The Windermere down there. But anyway, we've come to the point now where we would usually head up left to Wandsfell Pike, uh, but we're going to carry on. Uh, no, we haven't. We're going to carry on onto Bay Stones first and then kind of up back, yeah. so uh, we'll catch up in a minute. There you go, that's the Lowood Hotel. Obviously where the spa is. And tea rooms. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. Okay. It's a real gradual climb up, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> not, ste not steep at all, it is lovely. But if you look behind you now, in the distance there, what's about there, that is one sheet pike. <laughs> no, so that's we call it, sorry, we call it one sheet. One's fell pike. Um, so we've got to get over there at some point. So yeah, it's a grand walk, this, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, so I'll see you at the top. I'm not sure I'll be able to get round here. It's uh, a bit drief, as they say, in, uh, the, over the border in Scotland. So we're up this road now. Uh, we've come up through the past of the lake there and up this path up this road. And up sharp there, left turn. sharp left turn. <laughs> and then, as you can see in the distance as we saw before, Wansfell Pike. So it looks like we're going to kind of carry on around this corner here, hook a left up to Bay Stones and then 
that's the uh, the end goal. Yeah. And then it's steep down. But this weather today is it's either chucking it down or it's not. Oh, the water crews are on and off. Yeah, they are. Right, we'll see you a bit further up. We got here. Bonnie little ponies. How are you? How are you? So this is a nice surprise. You've got these little felt ponies here. And they're great, aren't they? Look at the mane on them and his forelock. And he's even got a little moustache there, look, haven't you? You've got a little moustache. <laughs> but these ponies, you know, people might look at these and think, oh, poor things out in this weather. And these, these guys can put up with all oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> they absolutely chuffed to bits with this weather. No bother at all. With coats on like that, they can withstand all sorts of weather. But what great to see them. You're a bit of a grumpy pig, you, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, hey, with your ears forward. back. Oh, you yeah. want to put your ears forward? <laughs> anyway, come on, let's go. So we've just had some lunch. Just, uh, just had two minutes, haven't we? Yeah, we didn't really stop, did no. we? Beef sandwiches. I love beef sandwiches. Yeah, good. I like beef sandwiches. Okay. Anyway, beef sandwiches. Anyway, what I'm kind of trying to tell you now is, if you can see an army of folk going up there, they're heading up to Wansfell Pike, and then here, that's Wansfell, and then just in the distance, I don't know if you can see it. That's Baystone, so that's where we're going. So we can see the three kind of yeah. the peaks there. Baystone's obviously being the highest, then Wansfell and Wansfell Pike being the lowest. I don't know what this weather's doing. It's kind of stopped raining a little bit now. But then behind you, you've just got a first glimpse of, of Windermere, but I put this high, so yeah. So let's crack on, we're not far now, and uh, see what we can do. Okay. This weather just ain't improving, is it? Nope. <laughs> but we've just come round that corner now anyway. We've got in front of us there a great view. Well, it would be a great view if it was a better day, but there's Ill Bell and uh, Yoke. Yoke, was it? Yeah, I think it's Yoke. Ill Bell there. That's part of the... We need to do that horseshoe. Yeah, Kentmere. Part of the Kentmere horseshoe. We need to do that, yeah. But it's quite a big, a big one, that for us oldies. For our knees. <laughs> for our knees, yeah. <laughs> what is the uh, the uh, hurtometer like at the minute? Oh, well, good at the minute. Yeah, I'm not so bad at the yeah, minute. Right. We'll, we'll check the hurtometer a little bit later on. The painometer. Yeah, the painometer. Okay. Yeah, so we're just heading our way up now. We've come across and then hit this one of these wonderful roads that you find in the Lake District that date back to God knows when. Uh, and this particular one has got a name. Yeah. Nanny Lane. It is. Nanny Lane. Um, obviously built for some reason. Years gone by, which I'm not sure. But the work that's gone into it's phenomenal. We tend to find between the two stone walls, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And they're all usually pretty straight too. Yeah, they are. So yeah, so we'll head up here, uh, get to the top and catch up. See you Bloody hell, these are big, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, the neck. Tell you what, I well, one final push to the top, but man. It's quite steep. It is quite steep, that little bit. I can tell I've not been out for a while. Yeah, it's a bit unfit. Yeah. Not even fit. Um, Ill Bell, there's a bit of snow on top of Ill Bell, aren't there? Oh, there's some trees on there. Yeah. Anyhow, come on. Onwards and upwards. Let's do this. We will. Go on. Going around here, we've got 
grass mirror in the far distance yeah, there. Third wheel horseshoe, so I think we're gonna head off to our next peak, which is that one over there. One small bike. Come on, let's go. No, I think I think this is a great route bike because the views you've got are fantastic. You've got Windermere, you've got the Langdales, you've got the Furfield Horseshoe, you've got Grassmere, you've got Rydal, Rydal Water. It's a great walk back, I think, this way. But you've got to watch out for this big boggy patch in the middle. And last time we did this, we got caught out in the big boggy patch in the middle. And you've got to kind of keep, go, keep to your right. Because when you look at the path there, it looks like the path kind of comes down this way. But what you better do is stick to the wall. Yeah. Because if you get in that lot, you might never see you again. So yeah, stick to the wall. So I only get to this junction here. The path heads up that way. And the path goes down that way. You head that way. And it's a bit boggy. But always head to the right. down there, Bog Central. And just look at that. That's why it's good to do this route this way. That's fabulous. Okay, so on the ridge route now, from Bearstone, and this ridge route is pretty cool. There's lots of ups and downs in it, as you can see. But the one good thing is this wall. I know. Because without this wall, we'd be blown off, wouldn't we? Yeah, it would. And the wind is unbelievable from there, isn't it? Yeah. Just added hail so that's a bonus. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not so many ups and downs to go yet. Yeah, now until we get to the, uh, no. the so summit. Just, stay by the wall. Yeah, stick, but stick to the wall. So that there is the last ascent to uh, One Sheep Pike. <laughs> One Spell. One Spell Pike. I should keep, stop calling it One Sheep, shouldn't I? Oh no. There, there are other kitchen rolls available on the market. Apparently. Um, <laughs> but obviously there's still a few more ups and downs to go. Yeah. But uh, I bet it's just as windy up there as what it was on top of Bayston. Yeah. So come on, let's go. gonna miss you so much so much and, and one more thing if you're up there looking down on us have a wave with the big man and tell him to send us some sunshine all right so this is for you Andy Hatton we we'll love you always and you'll be massively this way anyway let's get down come on yeah we asked oh mate that passed away Andy Hatton have a look with the big man. Get some sunshine. There you go. Do you do with it on me, that? <laughs> no. Andy, if you're listening again, send it. It needs to be all on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. God love him. Come on. So the path down here, or the path up, if you're doing one spell from Ambleside, is just a continuous path of steps, of stone steps, and they are quite steep, aren't they? So, and especially yeah, yeah. on a day like this, incredibly slippy too. Yeah. So you've got to be really careful where you put your feet. Uh, but not far now. Just over that little bridge there, 
Now, as you can see, Amble side there, tucked away at the bottom. Um, it's a lovely side from here, isn't it, yeah, Amble it is. side? Coming down this way, it is. Really yeah, nice it's really nice. Side. You do get a great view of this side and out onto the Langdale. As you can just see Piker Stickle now. Yeah. You'll not be able to see it in this camera, but yeah. just kind of just see, see Piker Stickle. Um, yeah, painometer. I'm, I'm feeling it now, my knee. Are you? Yeah. I'm not too bad. I'm usually like pretty oh, bad by now. Okay. I'm going to put myself at a four. Oh, well, I'm at probably a six now. It's hurting. Is it really? Neurofen needed. We need some uh, liquid <laughs> lubrication. We do. Okay, come on. <laughs> Nearly at the bottom. We are. That is a proper thigh burn of a hill coming down. It is. Especially yeah. today. I can really feel we haven't been out for a while. Yeah. Whew. I don't know which is worse, going up or coming down. I know. The pinometer's just gone from four to eight. So we're down now, just nearly by the road. But every time I come down here, it always reminds me that, that last time. I know. Last time we did this. We'd just come up through the gate there at the bottom, near the, near the road. And there were three young lads, weren't there? Yeah, they were. Just sat down on some rocks by the side. And all of them had their heads between the knees. And as we were walking down past them, one of them looked up, never said good morning, good afternoon, out like that. He just said, tell me I'm near the top. <laughs> we didn't have the heart to tell him we had a long way to go. <laughs> we just said, just over the brow there, and, and you're there. But I, d I doubt that he, that he got up, but no, I, I I'll, I'll never ever forget that day, bless him. But at least they were out doing it. Yeah, they were giving it a go. Yeah, but look at that sunlight. That's beautiful. That is stunning. Back onto the road now. We were going to go through Stockgill Woods, weren't we? On the yeah. Stockgill Force and that, but it's a, a slutchy mess at the best of times around there, isn't it? So we're not going to add to the problem today. No. <laughs> we're going to skip that out. Yeah. So all I've got to do now is just head on down here. Back to the car park. Yeah, it's back in time, side. Back in time, we might call it a pub on the way to the car. I don't know, we'll see where that happens. Sealed up, so <laughs> just dry out somewhere and then off. We'll go to the Badger Bar for tea. Yeah. So that'll be quite good because we love the Badger Bar. Been there for this no, year, have we? no. So, so that's us done now, really. Um, been a really good walk on it. I've really yeah, enjoyed nice. that. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. And it's, to back out. yeah, it's been a bit of a strange walk, obviously, with us losing our one of our best friends last weekend who loved the, the fells and that. So, it's it been a quite a prominent, poignant walk. Yes. Um, so yeah, no, thank you very much for watching. Um, means a lot to us. And again, we do these films so we can look back on them in years to come when we can't get up these fells anymore. Um, but yeah, you know, keep keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. We'll be out again soon. We will. I don't know where next. No, I don't. Um, we've not done this for a long time for work commitments and this, that and the other, but it's good to be out. It is. And I've missed it. Mm -hmm. I've missed it so much. Yeah. So yeah, thanks so much for watching again and uh, we'll see you soon. Still on top of one fell, and we asked big our Andy. big Andy <laughs> to have a word with the big man while he's up there to send us some song in his ear. Good lad, Andy. Cheers, pal. Yeah.